Holy shit, what a surprise. The second character for version 2.3 isn't Sunday as I predicted, but Jade? Is the rumor saying Sunday is a four-star character actually true? We know very little about Jade, except that she's one of the 10 Stonehearts. However, if she's coming next, that means we'll learn more about her in version 2.2. Maybe we'll see more background stories or her interactions with other characters. But what really catches me off guard is her path. The first time I saw her in the story quest, I thought she'd be a support type, harmony or nihility, either of these paths. With this kind of attire, especially the hat that gives her a witch look, there's no way she's a DPS. Well, surprise, surprise, she is. Jade is a five-star quantum erudition, the second after Ching Chui. It's intriguing to see how she'll fare against other erudition characters. This path has been consistent throughout all the Memory of Chaos iterations since day one. Every erudition character, except maybe Himeko, is strong and viable for high-level battles. King Yuan, Argenti, Serval, and Ching Chui are still destroying the upper floors of MOC at a fast pace, while occasionally Herta gets her fair share of spotlight whenever enemies who can summon minions appear. As a five-star character, I'm expecting Jade to be at least Argenti level, unless there is a twist. Especially now that we have Pure Fiction, a permanent game mode that I criticized a while ago. You have the illusion that erudition value went up compared to the other paths. Therefore, to players with low resistance towards Hoyo vs. Genjutsu, Jade might be irresistible. If she had been released before Shuei, I might have been tempted to pull for her too. It's no secret that Ching Chui's RNG gameplay has always been a sore spot for me. Even after getting her to Eidolon 6, I still dislike how RNG she is, making me unable to plan my SP consumption properly. At that time, Jade could be the solution I desperately needed. However, now that I have Shuei, who excels as a hybrid quantum breaker, there's little incentive for me to pull for Jade. Unless, once again, there is a twist. In this age of hybrid paths, nothing is certain anymore. While she may be belong to Erudition Path, who can guarantee she won't have have an ability to support Break Team that other characters don't have? It's a mystery until Hoyoverse announce her official kit. We'll see.